in the previous video, which is found up here, you'll see that I've got an unknown substance. And by doing lots of flame tests on this, we managed to determine this is strontium. Now, I know it's a salt, so it's strontium something. It could be strontium chloride, strontium bromide, strontium iodide. It could be strontium carbonate or strontium sulfate, but I'm not sure. So what I want to now try and do is perform a series of tests on this substance to see what it might be. So our first thing is let's take a little bit of this substance and what I'm going to do is I really don't want very much. So I've literally got just a few crystals of this and I'm going to put this in a test tube and we're going to add some distilled water to this and you'll see that I've made up a vast amount about a one centimeter depth because we're only performing a little test on this. So I've now got my sample which is strontium something. Now if it's a carbonate then it should perform and work in a particular way. So I've got here some sodium carbonate and what I'm going to do with this sodium carbonate, I'm going to get a clean spatula and I'm going to take a little bit of my sodium carbonate and I'm going to put this in another clean test tube and we'll add some water to that and let's see if it's a carbonate what should happen so got that in there and if it's a carbonate what I'm going to do is add a little dollop of hydrochloric acid and if it's a carbonate what should happen is we get some beautiful bubbles produced and if we were to test that gas we would see that this gas is carbon dioxide. Now if it wasn't basically a carbonate what would happen? So let's take a look at what a negative test would look like and I've got some sodium chloride here and if we take some sodium chloride and I take a little bit of sodium chloride Let's add again some distilled water. We only need about a one centimetre depth. We're only doing a quick test to see what it is. So that's dissolved. And then let's add some hydrochloric acid to it. Here we go. Just add a little bit. And nothing happens. So we've got a positive test with bubbles, a negative test, nothing happened. So let's now take our strontium, possibly strontium carbonate. Let's see if it is strontium carbonate. No. So we've got a typical there negative test nothing happened. So we know we don't have strontium carbonate. Yeah, so that was a bit disappointing. So our next job might be to have a look and see if it is something else. And we could test now to see whether it is a sulfate. And the test for a sulfate is typically adding barium chloride. And if it is a sulfate, then we're going to get a 
precipitate formed. So let's take my strontium again. So hopefully this is strontium sulfate. Let's dissolve it in about one centimeter cubed of water and I've got a bigger lump that time so it's not dissolving well there we are it's dissolved now if it's a sulfate then we are expecting this to, to change so I want a substance like sodium sulfate so let's take some sodium sulfate, a clean spatula. And I don't really want very much. So there is my sodium sulfate. I'm going to do a negative test as well. And so I'm going to take some of my sodium chloride and I'm going to put that into another test tube. I'll move the dirty stuff out of the way. So I've now got some stuff for a negative test and I've got some for a positive test. So if I add some barium chloride to my sodium sulfate, there instantly we've got a white precipitate. So that's a positive test. That's a test for a sulfate. Let's see what the negative test would look like. This is sodium chloride. Let's add some barium chloride and a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. Definitely no precipitate. Nothing's happened here. So let's take my potential substance. Could be here strontium sulfate. And let's test to see if it is. Oh dear. No, it's not. No, that one is not a positive test. There's our positive test. There's our negative test. So it isn't strontium <coughs> sulfate. So I've now got to see if we can test for something else. Now, I'm hoping this is going to be strontium chloride, strontium bromide, or strontium iodide. And we can test for all three in one test, so that's going to be good. So, we've got a choice here. It could be a positive test. So, let's have a look at a positive test for some of these. So, my positive tests are, it could be a chloride and to do a chloride then let's put some chloride in the first and this is sodium chloride again it might not be sodium chloride it might be strontium bromide so this one is sodium bromide and we'll take a small amount of this and put it in there. My final choice is it could be strontium iodide. So I've got here some sodium iodide. And I'm just going to make up this test tube. And my final choice is it might not be any of those, although I'm running out of ideas if it doesn't. So 
I'm going to take some sodium sulfate here and I'm just going to put some sodium sulfate in a test tube. So all of these are going to require some water. So let's put in a dollop of water into each one. I'm only putting in about one centimeter cube, maybe two in here. We only need a little bit to make up the solutions. So this is my chloride, bromide, iodide, and my test. The first one is my substance that I want. So the best way of doing this is test is using some silver nitrate. And it's always a good idea just to put a little bit of nitric acid in first. So into each of these test tubes, I'm going to put one drop of nitric acid. Now, what we're going to try is silver nitrate test. So with a clean pipette, what I'm going to do is we're going to take my substance and we're going to place in here a few drops of silver nitrate in here and immediately we've got a beautiful white precipitate. Now you can see it against my glove. All right, so that's the chloride. The bromide will give us a slightly coloured precipitate and this is a cream precipitate. If I hold up the white and the other one, you'll just see they are slightly different in colour. I find it very difficult to tell some of them apart. Let's just put a few drops in here. This is for the iodide, and you'll see now I've got three test tubes here, and we've got the chloride, the bromide, and the iodide, and they are subtly different. Let's do the negative test now. So this is sodium sulfate. Let's add some silver nitrate and it's clear nothing's happened. So now the moment of truth. We know this is strontium because of its flame test. It was red, the red of strontium. It's not strontium carbonate. It's not strontium sulfate. Let's see if it's one of these. And immediately it's changed colour. So, so it's a chloride, bromide or iodide. Is it white? Yes. Is it cream? No. Is it sort of pale yellow? No. So I am now convinced that this substance, this unknown substance, is strontium chloride. And with that, I can put it back in its little bottle and I can label it strontium chloride. All right, I did cheat. I did check and do the test beforehand so I did know. But I still had to really do the test before I did this YouTube video to determine what it was. So all I've done is repeated the test and it worked. So tests for this, if you want to try and determine what a substance it is, we can do flame tests. For some, you might do a hydroxide test, but that really is only for copper and for really iron 
they're the only ones that really work well. They do work for magnesium and aluminium, but not and calcium, but not so well, because they're all white precipitates. And then we determine the other part of the salt using either hydrochloric acid, which produces CO2 bubbles if it's a carbonate. We've got barium chloride, which will make a precipitate if it's a sulfate, or, as we've done successfully, a drop of nitric acid followed by the real test, silver nitrate, to test to see whether it is a halide, and in this case, a chloride. There we are, the test for an unknown. My unknown, strontium chloride. 